So pretty much the only thing that you'll need is bacon strips. Remember those guys? Pepper, pepper fridge farm, pepper farm fridge, pepper fridge farm. Remembers. Anyway, <laughs> so you only need bacon as much as you like or as much as you can fit on a baking tray. And I'm going to show you two techniques to make your bacon in the oven. Let's get started. So here I have a baking tray covered with baking paper. What you can do is just put the bacon on here and put it in the oven and that's it. Or you can put it on a steel rack and fry it that way. But if you don't have a steel rack, there's another solution with aluminum foil. So what you want to do is take your aluminum foil and fold it one time in one way and another one in the other way and just keep repeating it for the whole aluminum piece that you've taken and there you go this way you have yourself a zigzaggy texture and this will serve as a rack so you just line your bacon on here and the fat will drip in between the cracks and that way you will have less fatty bacon if that makes sense because the bacon won't be frying in its own fat it won't be that crispy also so if you're into that you can use this technique but I don't like it that way. I like my bacon nice and crispy and fry it in its own fat. So I'm just gonna place my bacon on my baking tray. You can also use aluminum foil instead of baking paper. It's entirely up to you. You can put the bacon strips pretty close to each other because they will shrink. There you go. And now it's ready to go into the oven. I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. And now I'm going to put in the bacon for roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Of course, depending on how crispy you want it, you can leave it in for longer or shorter amount of time. And there you go. Roughly 15 minutes later, my bacon is done. Now I'm just going to transfer it to a plate covered with kitchen paper and let it rest so it becomes crispy. And there you go. You have yourself some nice and crispy bacon.